Why is it so difficult to say no? In this video, we're going to use emotional intelligence and I've got five simple tips to help you say yes to things you want to say yes to and no to things that you don't. The first is something we call recognizing patterns. The way our brains work, we're wired to form and follow patterns. And a lot of us have patterns that are around not making other people uncomfortable. So when you are saying yes or no to something, one of the key questions is, are you following your pattern? Or is this what you really mean to do? And the trick is just to pause for a second and to ask yourself, am I wanting to say yes or no because of a reaction against something? Am I protecting against something? Am I protecting against discomfort? Am I protecting against somebody telling me what to do? Am I protecting against uh, disappointing somebody? In that case, you might be following a pattern and it's worth pausing to consider what is it that you really want. To help you do that, the second tip is to recognize that when you say yes to something, you say no to something else. We have a limited amount of time and energy in our days. And so anytime that we're saying yes to one thing, we're saying no to something else. So when you get that request, before you say yes, just take a tiny second and consider that yes, what are you saying no to? Are you saying no to self-care? Are you saying no to another priority? Are you saying no to something that you'd already committed to? Every yes is also a no, and every no is also a yes. If you're gonna to decide to say yes, one key question, what are you really saying yes to? Is it clear to you? Is it clear what the parameters are? Is it clear to the other person? Have you actually made an agreement about what will make you both satisfied in this? To help you figure that out, the fourth tip is to remember the why. A lot of times when people talk about, oh, should we do this, shouldn't we do this? They immediately go into the practicalities of what will it take to do it? I've been in many business meetings where somebody says, well, maybe we could do blah, blah, blah. And then immediately people move into problem solving mode. Well, if we're gonna do blah, 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 we have to move this and we have to make this thing happen, to rearrange this. And there's just a critical question that got missed. Hey, why are we doing this? To what degree is this connected with our long-term priorities and our short-term priorities? So just taking that tiny question of why will really help you understand if this is something you should say yes to, but also what the criteria are or the conditions are to make that yes a success. My final tip for today is to consider the incredibly powerful addition of and. Yes and. Yes and gives you the ability to set some parameters. I mean, just for example, somebody says to you, hey, can you take care of this project for me? Your answer could be, yes, I can do that. And in order to do it, I'm gonna need you to take this project from me. Yes and gives you a way of affirming and accepting and supporting people, but also creating some parameters and some support for yourself. Yes and is a way of setting yourself up to say yes with success. So why is it so difficult to say no? Five tips to help you do it. The first is to recognize if you're following a pattern and to get off autopilot. The second is to remember that every yes is also a no. The third is to be clear about what you're saying yes to. What are the conditions that are gonna make you and the other person satisfied? The fourth is to remember why and to ask why you're doing it. And then the fifth step, yes and, is a way of getting the support you need in order to say yes. Now it's your turn. Why is it so difficult to say no? What are you gonna say yes to instead? 